What's your policy about the black people in America? Well, I can tell you, we, we, we're grateful to have uh, immigrant the support of immigrants. Um, in fact, they're calling me the immigrants president, um, their, their choice of candidate. And part of it is because I think I understand the plight because from, from working in Africa uh, so much, but also we have people uh, that we've been divided racially so long that there's a, there's a group of people who just want to improve. We want to have better families. We want to have more opportunity for our children. And we realize we actually have shared goals. We're not the ones who divide ourselves. We are being divided, but we're not the ones doing the dividing. Uh, when we're at stores, I mean, they open the door for me. I open the door for them. We don't see color. You know, so many times we were taught for years, don't see color. You see the person, you see the character, see the heart of somebody. And then you realize we're all the same everywhere in the world. We're humans. Um, so where did this narrative of see me for my color? I didn't have anything to do with it. I didn't put in an order for God and say, now, God, I, I really want to have this color baby uh, whenever they come. And I want to be this. When you when I'm born, I want to be this, this, and this. None of us chose it. So what the best we can do is respect each other. And so the black caucus uh, in the United States that is for Roland Roberts for president, I'm grateful because they see past the things that the other, the powers that be that want to maintain their grip of power, they see how bad it is to divide us on such silly things. Now, I will say in the same breath, it is not, it is not right to, to uh, marginalize uh, or to um, uh, discriminate against someone based on their skin color. I don't want to be discriminated because I'm white and I would never discriminate because someone is a different color. You know, and, and let me tell you this, I believe that I came, because I came from the corporate world, in the corporate world, it is illegal. It is illegal to discriminate on all of the things that in politics, they celebrate the discrimination. They discriminate on race, they discriminate on sex, they discriminate on gender, they discriminate on faith, and they celebrate that. Uh, even even our president, you know, had announced uh, that he was going to uh, nominate a female vice president. Uh, and a lot of times they'll say, I'm going to have a female or I'm going to have a male or I'm going to have a black lady or a black man or this this race or that gender. And look, that's com everything they're doing there is completely illegal. If you run a company in America, it's illegal. So why is it okay on this hand and it's illegal on the other hand? It's a double standard and it's not right on that on that front. So in business, I learned I've had people of of that are transgender. I had people that were homosexual. I've had people that were obviously every color, every race, every religion, every background imaginable, and we all work together every single day for years towards a common goal. And none of those issues ever came between us because we're friends because we got to know each other the real us so uh can we have a united america once again yes under god we can but i do believe that that's the only banner under which americans can unite ever again because the division is so great we will never unite on anything high enough a big enough unless it is god